For the first time ever, doctors at the University of Pennsylvania have successfully used personalized gene therapy in a dozen patients with HIV, knocking the virus down to the point where it was almost completely undetectable. Researchers say it is a huge win in the fight against AIDS and HIV and brings them closer than ever to a cure. 54-year-old Jay Johnson knows that so far he has truly beaten the odds. When I got diagnosed back in 91, it was a death sentence. For decades, a combination of antiretroviral drugs has kept the HIV virus at bay. Nobody wants to live with this. They really do not. Let me check this one. Researchers have found a way to control HIV without the use of drugs by doctoring a patient's cells to resist infection. The target is one protein on the surface of white blood cells called ACCR5 receptor. People without CCR5, they are resistant to HIV. So what we do is we try to make patients that have HIV infection remove the CCR5. Penn researchers have taken white blood cells from patients and modified them with a specially designed molecule called a zinc finger nuclease. It causes mutations that reduces CCR5 on the surfaces of the cells. Without it, HIV cannot enter. It's like a cruise missile specifically directed to this one gene in all of the 23,000 genes in the uh, human genome. The modified cells are reproduced in the lab without the CCR5. Then they're frozen and infused back into the patient. Researchers say this is not a cure for HIV, but one step in a combination that may someday make that virus obsolete. Almost 30 years later and I'm still here. And now they're talking about possible cure. It's amazing.